Hello everyone and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Uh, last time we went and investigated Ichabod Crane's apartment and we went to the Trip Trap to uh, uh, investigate Lily's things and between the two of them we found out that Ichabod Crane's witch is Auntie Greenleaf and we also found out where Auntie Greenleaf is. So, now we investigate. Big B. And, and I was I gonna say, I think... Here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23, I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Oh man, this is it. All right, how do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Or awfully dead. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim! Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Okay, kid. We got over it. I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh... I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> is there, Interesting. Um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? Oh, no, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want I don't think I can really help you me this year mother come back in the morning Rachel do you mind if I take just a quick peek around we'll be very quick and he won't touch anything I asked but I wasn't really asking if you know what I mean <laughs> I've been here all night nobody's been here that's very suspicious Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. I don't know if we're actually dealing with a witch. There might be some ish some things going on here. That your mom? Uh huh. Your I don't trust this little girl. Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Don't trust this little girl. She is suspicious. What is never. this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? You know. Don't Not act here. like you don't. There's no one here but me. I'll be the judge of that. Plus, you're lying. I'm here. So there's more people here than you. No one's been over all night, so... He's just... The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. Probably Sounds from the tale of the three guys in the boat, right? Butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker? That old thing? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? What about the other door? Do I not even get to look at the other door? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. 
I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, Let's no, break no, it. No, 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 please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! Holy... This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please! I'm begging you! I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble! That's too late. <laughs> anti -green. Hurts when you do it that fast. What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. It does. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Green. Just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? You were nicer than I thought you would be when I was her. <laughs> but if I, I did help, to eat you. I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Not really. <laughs> okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Snow, it's too much. You can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby? This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. I didn't know I... Okay, well, I guess I see where I stand with you. Alright, let's go. You burn it if you want to do it so bad. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't.
Oh, Snow. You're being so dramatic. I think she's, uh... The case is a little bit too personal to her. How do we unlock a secure case of lycanthropy? That, that, that didn't happen at any point in that thing that we just did. I'm confused. That's Crane's car. Sure is. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Oh, now it is. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. I probably wouldn't do that. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now! Hey, you can't just go in there! Sure we can. We have a problem. Tell Try and me stop me. Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... You both know what's going on. Just tell me. Oh, my God. Big B. Wait, don't. Aw. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on, and this whole thing will be over! That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must! No, she said it won't. I, I wouldn't did you. Can't you? Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. Hmm. I wonder who cast a spell over those girls. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. What the hell is wrong with this? This guy is pretty pathetic. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so yeah. long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. This okay. is true. But if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You did. You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Yeah, we'll story on the well. Think about Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. 
Now, I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. <laughs> you think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little I don't think that's true. Turn, so be it. I have no regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Get going, you degenerate. I guess we don't believe in handcuffs in Fable Town. I wonder that thing that controls their speech, can they even talk to each other about things? Like even if they know what happened, can they can they tell it to each other? That's an interesting thought. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> What are you saying? There's there's definitely something going on with this Georgie Porgy's place. No one would glamour them that heavily or cast a spill on them that heavy for nothing. Aw oh, crap. Get back in the strip club. The strip club door is right there. Why do you guys? Why are you? Okay. Oh God, whatever. Now another car is gonna cut. There we go. We're boxed in. I was gonna say it's the Tweedle guys at first, but uh, that's way too many cars for. Oh. Okay, so one of the cars is Tweedles. <laughs> It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? Hey Crane, that sounds like you. Anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh... Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So Didn't Bloody Mary get killed? girl and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the soft puppet now. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the time to, to prove you that you were right there, Tweedle. Fuck it. Jesus. Well, I think I picked the wrong option. <laughs> Bigby? Mm. Uh, we're going to get a little bit pissed off now. Yeah, I can spam Q with the best of them. That makes me the real wolf. Oh.
Am I supposed to, like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Just hold W? Jeez, he can take a lot of shots. Had some silver. Guys pissed off the wrong werewolf. Crazy person. She's a Fuck you. Should I kill them? Nah. Let's just let them go. I think I've killed enough people, or maimed enough people in my wolf form. I think Snow may have been a little bit more horrified if we had killed him. <laughs> oh God, it was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. Hey, it's the, it's the huntsman's axe. Or the woodsman's axe, I suppose. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. That's what I figured. Right, Wolfie? Come on, Q. Come on, I mean, Q. You hey, can do look, it. I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with these results? Yes. Because I know I can. I'm hitting Q. I don't know what else you Wait. want from me. Stop. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. Don't do this. It's the crooked man. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Probably so, yeah. I'd imagine he's probably stressed out. <laughs> Just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Oh, well, man. Be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Yeah, the money laundering was going through the crooked, crooked man. Uh, in the note that we found in Crane's apartment, so... 
I'm sure he uh, will come to extort us out of money soon as well. Or snow out of money. I think these achievements are unlocking in, a, in appropriate times. Because you would think the lycanthropy like one be would be after this. Be next time, if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to. Um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with nope. you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> Holy Mary's not going to kill our pig, is she? Choice at this point. Do you? She's going to kill our pet pig. Most people decide not to interrupt Snow's eulogy. Good people. Good people. Uh, it's pretty fairly split, but apparently not a lot of people went to Tweedle's place. Everyone made it. Most uh, a good number of people made a deal with Jack. Uh, almost twenty percent of people are horrible, horrible people and burned her tree. Wow, almost half the people killed T Tweedle D, or Tweedle Dumb rather. You guys are some bloodthirsty people. I'll tell you what. But in any case, uh, we will pick the story back up next time. Uh, I'm not sure how quite how many episodes are in this game. And I'm kind of scared to click and see on the men main menu here. Um, just because I know there's like these little background things, but I'll go ahead and look. I think it doesn't. Okay, next episode is the last one. Oh, no. <laughs> Two more episodes. There we go. I said it right. Okay, anyway. Uh, I thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you next time where apparently Bluebeard's going to continue to be a smug bastard. But then, that's nothing new, I guess. Bye-bye.